Another th neat thing you can do with Access is you can import data um, from one format or you know different formats into a table. So I've got a spreadsheet here, and it's got product listings for our Acme company. So products one through eight, and here's a description and quantity and price. And what I want to do is I want to take this data and get it into um, an Access database table to describe one of the entities in my company or organization. Now, I can type it in manually, but I can also import it. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Access. Um, and in Access, I'm going to open up our Acme database here. And I'm going to click on the External Data tab. And what I want to import is in the Excel format. So that's what I'm going to select. Up here, I'm going to select Browse. And I'm going to go to the Desktop. And I want to find Products XLSX for an Excel 2010 spreadsheet. And I'm going to select the option to import the source data into a new table in the current database. I'm going to click on OK. And it will launch the wizard process. And it lets me know your spreadsheet file contains more than one worksheet or range. Um, which worksheet or range would you like? In this case, I want the first sheet, right? And this will become my primary key product ID. Here's the string description. Here's the numerical quantity and the currency price. So that'll give you an idea of the data types or formatting that I also want to set up. And I could just let Access try to decide automatically and click finish, cut to the chase, so to speak. Or I could walk through the wizard. And so next, here's what I could select them. Microsoft Access can use your column headings as field names for your table. Does the first row specified contain column headings? And in this case, yes. Product ID description, quantity, and price. So first row, I'll leave that checked. Otherwise, we could select an option if we wanted to. But I'm going to click Next. Special information about each of the fields I'm importing. Um, I can always modify it later. I could open it up in Design View. But um, for the product ID, the data type double, that's numerical and indexed. Um, duplicates, OK. And in this case, no, because this is going to be a primary, you know, I'm going to use this as a primary key. So duplicates would not be OK. Next, um, let access the primary key. I'm going to choose my own primary key. I'm going to choose product ID. OK. And next, and import to table, and we'll simply call it our products table. The products that we sell at Acme. And I'm going to go ahead and click finish. And it tells me finished importing. Do I want to save the import stops? I'm just going to click close. I don't want to, but if I do that, now if I open up the products table in design view, notice, you know, product ID, it's numerically formatted. Description is text-based. Quantity is numerical. And price is number-based. Well, I'm just going to modify that and change that to currency. Okay. Save the changes. Some data may be lost. It's just letting me know that, um, you know, I had decimal values, so they might be truncated. Um, you know, you know, some accuracy may be shaved off. But in this case, no. I want to format it as currency. And if I open the table, notice now here's what I have. So from the Excel 2010 spreadsheet to the Access 2010 database, I was able to import all the data without having to manually enter anything. That's kind of a neat feature. And you could do that with comma separated values and, and you know data in plenty of other different formats. That'll just give you an idea of some of the import and export capabilities. I, I could export the data as well if I you know chose to. Just different options available.